Artificial intelligence is a name that you have heard a lot about in the last year. But probably you all don't know how it started. Today in Software's Land, we are going to give you a general introduction about the history of artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence refers to systems that can have reactions similar to intelligent human behaviors, including understanding complex situations, simulating human thought process and reasoning methods, and successfully responding to them, learning and having the ability to acquire knowledge and reason to solve problems. The said definition is not a precise definition, and it is only an informal definition because so far no precise and specific definition of artificial intelligence has been given and everyone looks at this science according to their knowledge and field of activity. But where did the story of this phenomenon begin? Artificial creatures with the ability to think and argument were used in ancient fiction and were common in stories, like Mary Shelley's Frankenstein and Rossum's Universal Robots from Carl Chapek. These characters and their fates raise many of the issues that are now discussed in artificial intelligence. The story of mechanical reasoning or intellectual reasoning was started by ancient mathematicians and philosophers. The study of mathematical logic led directly to Alan Turing's theory of computation. The field of AI research was born in a workshop at Dartmouth College in 1956 where the term artificial intelligence was coined by John McCarthy to separate this research field from cybernetics. Alan Newell, Herbert Simon, John McCarthy, Marvin Minsky and Arthur Samuel are known as the founders and leaders of artificial intelligence research. They and their students produced programs that surprised the press and the public. They created a program that allowed computers learn to play checkers and by 1959, computers were reportedly playing the game better than the average human. The founders of artificial intelligence were very optimistic about its future. Herbert Simon predicted that in the next 20 years, machines will be able to do everything done by humans. Marvin Minsky confirmed this and added that within the next generation, the problems of artificial intelligence will be fundamentally solved. But they were unable to solve some problems and this made the progress slow, until in 1974, in response to Mr. James Lytle's criticism and constant pressure from the United States Congress to fund exploration projects, the governments of the United States and the United Kingdom terminated artificial intelligence research, and it was very difficult to get funding for research for several years. So that period is known as the winter of artificial intelligence. By the early 1980s, artificial intelligence experts had successfully developed expert systems, a form of artificial intelligence software that simulated knowledge and analytical skills of human experts. And by 1985, the market for artificial intelligence had reached over a billion dollars. At the same time, Japan's fifth-generation computer project inspired by United States and British governments to return to research. But again, in 1987, with the collapse of the least machine market, the world of artificial intelligence was once again neglected and experienced another winter. In the late 1990s and early 21st century, experts in artificial intelligence research began to use logic, data mining, medical solutions, and other disciplines. The sudden success in this field can be seen due to increase in computing power, more emphasis on specific problems, establishing a relationship between artificial intelligence and other scientific fields, and the use of mathematical methods and scientific criteria by researchers. Deep Blue was the first artificial intelligence system in the game of chess, which succeeded in defeating the world chess champion Gary Kasparov on May 11, 1997. Finally, according to Bloomberg's Jack Clark, 2015 was the year of artificial intelligence, 
because the number of artificial intelligence software projects in Google reached 2,700 projects, while in 2012 they were only used sporadically. Clark shows information on the progress of AI that since 2012, the error rate of systems in image processing has decreased significantly. He attributes this progress to the increase of neural networks, the increase of cloud computing infrastructures, and the increase of dataset research tools. This was a summary of AI's progress since its inception until now. What do you predict the future of artificial intelligence?